Hey, it's Joe Glines, and in this tutorial on using AutoHotKey with Excel, I'm going to demonstrate how to open various file types in Excel using my function library. So first off, because Excel currently isn't running, um, I'm going to use my start get, um, and I changed it up a little bit in the last video. So here I'm just saying um, make it visible. I don't want to add a blank worksheet because I'm actually going to open up a file, and then um, return a handle to, uh, to the Excel object here, and then I'm going to in my multi Excel multi opener function, uh, basically I just put in the handle to Excel and then I put in the path. And if the path is one of, um, and I'll, we'll look at the function cause I don't quite remember how many different formats I put in there, but I put in a fair amount. It, it should automatically open it. So I'm gonna save this reload it. The first one's easy, right? Cause it's an Excel file. So this should pop open my diet, um, spreadsheet so um, i've been dieting and so yes it's going well but that popped open that file so i'll close that no i'm not gonna save my changes now what if it's a text file i just took um, the same data that was in there and dumped it into oh you know what that's the wrong path i i moved that temp and this one also is temp this should be so what if it's a text file right tab delimited um actually so for me both TXT and TSV extensions mean it's a tab limited file. And so when we open it, notice it pops it in there, no problem. Um, that was a tab limited file. And you know what, let me show you, just so it makes a little more sense. So around my temp folder, um, whoa, come on. So these three files are the, oh, I'm sorry, these two, the diet text and diet CSV, and if you open it, You'll see, I got site here. Oh, come on. This is a CSV file, comma delimited file, comma separated values, which nobody ever calls it that. Um, and then the uh, text is a tab delimited. If we view white space, you'll see there are tabs in there. Another great thing, by the way, if you ever have tab limited data, you can take tab delimited data. Um, I don't have Excel running, of course. And let me launch Excel. If you have tab limited data in your clipboard, you can easily paste right into Excel. Why is Excel taking so long to launch? Come on, there it goes. All right, so I can paste in there. See, yeah, now it opens a couple times. And you can see it does a great job of, because it, it basically parses on the tabs. Another cool thing is if you copy from Excel and pay, let's copy this so you can see it's actually different. Um, and I'll go down a few extra rows here. When you paste, it, it uses a tab as a delimiter. So it's just food for thought when you're trying to move files around stuff. It's good to know how Excel is parsing that because uh, sometimes it's just easy to paste stuff into Excel and use that to parse the data. So anyway, um, close that. No, I don't want to save it. That's the CSV, no. Uh, now let me go ahead and, yeah, I don't need that, no. And let's open the CSV version. Reload, open, and bam, it pops that in there, no problem at all. The, the next one, I don't recommend this for anybody, but if you happen to have an HTML file you were trying to open in Excel, um, you can, this is my start page. And it's gonna look pretty crazy because I got a lot of, you know, and it renders it horribly, right? But it did import it as the links and everything. So that's how you can, pop open HTML and then the XML. What? Okay, here we go. So in XML, Excel does a, on average a really good job opening XML. I use it just to, to look around. Um, it's gonna come up, I didn't automate this part. It's gonna ask you if you want this, yeah, okay. And then it lays out the data as best it can with the schema um, showing you your values. So this was an XML file. Um, let's take a quick look here let's jump actually in in studio oh wrong one I can, I can i can just be in here and hit alt f1 and it'll jump me to that function and so here you get an idea of i have txt tsv and csv um, those are built in where i i do something slightly different on those and then um xml and oh an xls or an htm also, it can open those specifically as well. The XLSX, the default ones, it'll automatically open without a problem. So that is how to open different file type, much easier way than trying to figure out programmatically because it was really confusing with some of this stuff. So I just said, hey, you know what? Given that extension, more times than not, 
I have an idea of what I want to do with it. And so I look at these extensions and do some logic with them. So hope that helps. Cheers.